It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Monday, the 8th of February. I'm James Spann. The weather unseasonably mild for the first half of this week. Then the question is, does Arctic air reach Alabama this weekend? Will there be any chance of freezing rain? A lot of buzz on the streets about that possibility. So let's dive in here and take a Monday morning look. First off across the country today, it is a zonal flow in the upper atmosphere and a fairly dry air mass in place today. Pretty cold this morning. Temperatures are at or below freezing in most spots. The cold spot on the board is Aniana at 23, Gadsden 25, Birmingham at 30. But a nice warm up today. The high will be around 60 with the sky partly to mostly sunny. North of the state, we have winter weather advisories for areas around the Ohio River and also parts of the Southern Plains. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. There could be a few scattered storms over extreme South Alabama later today, but most of the state will be dry. No severe weather expected. Pretty much the same thing tomorrow. And Wednesday, day three, a chance of a few scattered storms all the way from Texas to Florida. Maybe parts of South Alabama. Our really big rains this week will most likely be Wednesday night and Thursday, as you'll see. This is the rain for the next seven days, valid through Monday morning of next week. Amounts for Alabama, one to two inches for most spots. So let's dive into modeling. We'll see if we can unlock the mysteries here. This is the GFS, the 06C run, valid later today at 3. Got a vortex over Canada. And very cold air covers much of the northern states. They are really cold this morning, but for us... Should be a quiet day. Again, a nice warm-up. The high close to 60, partly to mostly sunny. Tomorrow, we'll be flirting with 70 in many spots. It'll feel like spring. Spring fever might break out. But again, just north of the state, that's a 1,034 millibar high. It's very cold uh, over there. The Great Lakes, the upper Midwest. But again, we're dry, partly sunny. Now, this is Wednesday. Moisture begins to increase. We'll bring in the chance of a few showers Wednesday afternoon. And again, very mild, the high 65 to 70, and some nasty icing developing up around the Ohio River with snow to the north. This is Thursday. We're wet, rain and thunderstorms likely. And again, there's a very sharp Arctic boundary just north of here. But Thursday, the high should be in the 60s where we are. There could be icing for parts of Tennessee and maybe even extreme northwestern Mississippi around Memphis, but not here. Now, that feature is on by on Friday. And we will be a little cooler, but no Arctic air. And the models are in good agreement here. Maybe some lingering rain for southeast Alabama. Friday, the sky still mostly cloudy. Highs in the low and mid-50s. Now, this is Saturday, and there's all kind of disagreement in terms of how this evolves. Uh, this is the GFS for Saturday. It'll be a cloudy day and still pretty mild. We could be in the low 60s in some nasty wintry weather north and west of the state. And then this is Saturday night at midnight. And as the cold air rushes in, the GFS depicting uh, the rain changing to freezing rain or sleet. But wait a minute, the European says, nah, nothing to that. It's got cold air coming in here, but with no precipitation involved. Just for the fun of it, we'll check the Canadian Saturday night. It says, yeah, it's going to rain, but no ice. So again, total model madness here. And then this is Sunday, uh, back to the GFS, and we're drying. We're cold. That's a shallow cold air mass coming in here. And at least we're getting better agreement on temperatures. Let's go to the GFS Sunday morning. Uh, now, it's got 1 degree around the Shoals, 11 in Birmingham, 19 at Montgomery, 20 at Mobile. This is the European, and it's not as extreme. And I think this is probably maybe a better way to look at it at this point, take a more conservative approach. But again, the Europeans got lows of 11 at the Shoals, 16 in Birmingham, 26 for Montgomery, 28 for Mobile. So one way or the other, I think we're clearly going to be in much, much colder air on Sunday. So let's go to Monday. This is a week from today. Got a big trough to the west, and we are dry and cold if this verifies. We'll go out to 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, the 17th. Again, broad troughing north and west of the state, and we're still kind of cold and dry. This is the snow output for Birmingham off the European, showing maybe a little bit out there in the longer range, but not much. And again, the concern, if we have any issue this weekend, it's going to be freezing rain and not snow. Rain for Birmingham off the same model. The mean, a little over three inches, fairly wet pattern. Now, this is from the National Blend of Models. And again, this is a good conservative way of looking at this. You can see it's got the high Sunday of 45 and low Sunday morning of 31. Don't be shocked if those numbers come way down if we get into Arctic air. 
And the CPC outlook, this is for the 15th through the 21st, much of the United States, including Alaska, with temperatures well below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.